All right, everybody, you've been hearing about real estate prices dropping and you are worried about a market crash. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through our top four areas around Portland here that we have seen very, very steady pricing and that we think are very constant horses in the race. Stay tuned. Stabilization. All right, everybody, thank you again so much for tuning in. I'm Lucas Holt, your local realtor for Southwest Washington, as well as the greater Portland area. And again, we got Addy Net back, back at, at it again. again. So again, Addy, he's our money guy for That's you. That's me and the money guy. He What's gets that? you the What's loans, that? What's right? That? So if this is your first time to our channel, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified every time we put out a new, ch uh, new video for really? you twice weekly. And again, if you want to work with the people that actually live here, sleep here, eat here, work here, and play here on a day-to-day -day basis, then give us a call, give us a text, give us an email anytime, 24-7 put us to work for you. So again, what we're gonna do today is we're going to go through our top four steady eddies of the market around here. Yeah. The people that are, the, the areas that are very, very stable from what we've seen. So without further ado, let's go into those four areas. Number four is Beaverton, Oregon for you. This is big. I talk about this all the time yep. because I get investors and we get calls of like, hey, I might want to convert this into a rental. Mm -hmm. I want to get a deal on this. Huge, high, infinite amount of tenant opportunities in the Beaverton area because of- But why is that, Addy? Why is that? I was going to hand that to you. It's be because of Nike, of Intel. Intel. So yeah. much industry out on the west side of town there so for much. us. So with all those massive companies, obviously yeah. all those employees are going to need a place Always to live need. for us. So I think that that's a very just steady market for us because of those massive companies propping everything up. If we do go into a recession here. Some people say a recession is already on our doorstep. If it maybe causes a market crash, the big, big companies out there like Nike, like Intel are the ones that are really going to help prop up local economies. You're not going to see them go under by any means, right? They're going to yeah. be here for years and years and years, no matter what happens. And so that employee base is going to be retained. And that's really what's propping up so much Beaverton uh, for you. And again, like Addy said, mm -hmm. is that it's not just about just the buying on the housing side mm -hmm. for you. It's also about the renting side of things for you. Yeah, Nike and Intel, they have a lot of employees that come into town for six months, for 12 months for you and so you see a lot of investors in our area getting into beaverton because townhomes are a great investment to scoop up and rent out to those employees that are on a shorter contract for us okay well said there we go so <laughs> <laughs> so our number four area that we consider as a steady eddy around town here is going to be Addie's hometown, Westland. Go Lions. Go Lions. So I there's a common theme here. <laughs> common theme in these ones. School district, school district, school district. So if you have a quality public school district system, you're going to see a lot of stability on the values regardless of the market attempt due mm -hmm. to the demand of school districts. Exactly. So Westland's awesome. I mean, I'm a little biased because I grew up there. I got Lions, brand new school. But really, you're going to see higher end homes, mm -hmm. strong school districts, and really nowhere else to develop. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're seeing small little new construction places in Westland piecing together, but really, but a it's lot so of it's, developed already yeah, that there's capped. not a whole bunch of expansion that no. can go on in there. And especially with the hills and everything that are around Westland there, yeah. it's not like North Portland, for example, where we live, where developers yeah. are able to remove a house and put in multiple in the one spot. Yeah. So 
the geography helps it. And again, of course, the school district, just so amazing. Everybody wants to get yeah. in there. So even if we do see a little bit of a market slide, people are always going to want into those top school districts. Yeah. And make sure you watch. We did a My Hometown review video. Mm -hmm. last time. Make sure you watch that. It hasn't come out yet. Oh, it will oh, be, though. When Stay, you tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. So our number two for you and again like we said this is going to stay on the track of amazing schools right, right, right. but we're going to go over to the other side of the river and that's going to be camas washington for us yeah camas you know comes in at that number one uh public school district on the washington side mm -hmm. for southwest washington side and i would agree with this statement in the sense that they're obviously once again common theme schools grade schools always a high demand for that i would caution though Canvas isn't fully developed. There yep. is a lot of new build, and as new construction comes together, the lots get smaller, and the value of those homes are starting to adjust. Now, original Camus. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Is that you kind of have two different Camuses out there. Yeah, like and new Camus want, and OG Camus. Yeah, and I want to kind of like segment OG Camus into this stability side for you. So this yeah. OG Camus is really what you're going to be seeing around Lackamas Lake, around Round mm -hmm. Lake for mm -hmm. you, where it is so developed already. There are a few new developments going on around there, but again, it's close close enough to the OG Camus where yeah. I just say, hey, you know what, that's Camus for you. Everybody wants to get into there. Then you have also the new Camus that's again, expanding out towards Washugal into the hills, all that kind of stuff for you. That's Good still point. just being developed for yeah. you. Obviously when a recession comes in, those hills areas, that more rural type place for you, it's going to be less sought after, but as a whole, the school district is so great and how much our market is de uh, dependent on the school districts. Camus is just a fireproof uh, area for him. Yeah. And I don't want to like say like, Oh, buying a brand new home in Camus is a bad investment. Yeah. I would just, I think you need to be mindful. Exactly. Now, if you're strapped for cash, your entry level, you really just want, I just want to buy a home and be in that school district. I think this is the next 12 months brings so much opportunity on new construction. Without a question. Just be wary that just like buying a car, there's gonna be new models. Mm -hmm. And the demand will be in the new models. So your resale value might be a little bit smaller if your selling timeline is shorter. Exactly. So you gotta just understand that's the catch 22 of brand new construction and kind of track build yep. is there's gonna be a newer, nicer model if you guys want to hear a little bit more about that, we do have a video out for you, the new oh, yeah, versus yeah. old construction for you. So definitely check that one out where do we kind of dive into, hey, right. newer models with those production builders and even like a simple thing of adding a Venetian blind into a new home. Oh my God, window coverings are really expensive. Oh, That's like the number one they, most they expensive They are, but I can tell thing. you when these production builders charge 50K extra for something that cost them five to put in, it's, yeah, it's it's, uh, that's why you get me on your side for you. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> so I just get you the money. That The number one stable market in our area for you, though, let's go on to that, is going to be Addy's favorite place, Lake Oswego. For I wouldn't you. say it's my favorite. It's like his rival town. It's always Well, fun. before my family <laughs> moved to Westland, actually, my mom went to Lakeridge High School. Um and we were there up to sixth, seventh grade. So I know like as we go very, mm -hmm. very well. I grew up as an employee at the country club there. There we I go. As the kid who worked at the country club for the parents of my friends. There we go. Yeah. Well, you guys, we go. It's the number one. It's sought after. That is never, there's, there's barely any opportunity to add more houses. Exactly. Barely, barely. Like the only way we're adding new homes really in Lake Oswego right now is if another home it gets torn down. Tore down. Exactly. That's it. So Lake Oswego, I mean, really, it's going to be, it's always going to be kind of the top market within this area for yeah. you because you have Oswego Lake right there for you. Yeah. A lot of the Nike Intel execs, all that kind of there. stuff have 
house is right on those lakes, uh, that lake for you guys. So it's going to continue to be a very, very sought after area. And again, it is the number one school district in all of the Portland area for you. So again, yeah. keeping with that whole train of thought for you, great school district, the more stable that market will become. And on top of that, just kind of the influx of money that is around that Lake Oswego area is going to create just a more stable market in general. I totally agree. And like we just had a Zoom call, it was really good people looking at Wes on Lake Oswego. And I think, you know, we dove in a lot with the screen share of maps because I think what's important to understand about Lake Oswego mm -hmm. is it does creep a little bit north on I 5 with the Lake Oswego address, and you ain't really in Lake Oswego. Exactly. So that's where, like, going back to these Zoom calls, when you, you got to reach out to us and schedule, we want to meet you, we want to give you our local knowledge and show you these little areas because you might go, Oh my God, I found this beautiful house. <laughs> you know, it's only X amount. Let's totally do this. And you're like, uh, hey, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's why you reach out. You're a football field from I-5. That ain't really like us. We go. Right. I'm just going to give you that straight up. So important to meet with us and understand that the address on the listing doesn't always mean you're actually in that area. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So thank you all so much for tuning in again today. Again, my name is Lucas Holt, your local realtor for the greater Portland area. And again, we have Addy Net over there. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that hit like that button, button, hit subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified every time we put out a new video and again you know what to do give us a call give us a text give us an email anytime 24 7 put us to work for you all right guys thank you for tuning in and have a great one hit that little subscribe button come on guys subscribe. just subscribe <laughs>